performance of the season so far? Yeah, I think we, we spoke just now to, to the radio and uh, they were talking about it being our, our biggest result, which it wasn't, but um, definitely uh, as a performance, I think uh, it was strong. Um, physically, we looked in a good place. Uh, the team, I think, showed a coming together in uh, in the way that it's, it's doing things. There's a good unity and spirit amongst the boys, and that's evolving and developing all the time. Uh, some of the football we played was, was first class, and defensively we looked much more solid. So, all in all, it was a, a strong away performance. You got to a strong start yet again, and uh, Lee Holmes are back in the starting eleven, just setting up Stuart Bevan for the opening goal. There were some great individual performances. Um, the thing that you know we'll focus on, of course, will be the team because I think. Every one of them today, they had to come off the bench, the, the 11 that started, and the, the squad that were around them um, travelled well together and um, you know, put in what was needed to, to be convincing on the afternoon. It was uh, it was a strong performance and it was enjoyable to be a part of. Probably uh, frustrating for you personally when the, when you grabbed any prize in the way they did from, from, from quickly they accept these bits, the way you reacted in the middle of the positive. Yeah, it was uh, Lee Holmes slipped on the edge of the box, which created the room for, for the shot to get away, which was you know, unfortunate. Um, Holmes, you know, back into match action. You're going to get one or two moments where things don't go, quite go his way. Um, but uh, the team had made its mind up. It was coming here to get the points. Um, we knew that we, we couldn't afford to drop further off the pace. Um, we knew we needed to post those to get ourselves, you know, climbing. And uh, it was a it was a strong and determined performance. And uh, I think you could see that the players had made their mind up. They were going home with the points. Your first two goals in the first half, both the front and created by both your wingers. That's the same. Forward play that gives a manager confidence. Yeah, the, I wanted Jack to play higher today. I think he's played, you know, up with Bev at Tranmere and up with Bev um, against uh, uh, Scunthorpe. And I think in both those games where we played up with him, um, we posed a lot of problems. When he's dropped off the game and played almost like a third midfielder, um, we've not quite been so productive. So I asked him to play higher up today, which I think he did. Um, you know, when he when he pops into pockets, he asks such intelligent questions. And uh, Bevan, of course, thrives playing off the off the top of that. Um, they did a, a good job at the top of the team, and uh, the two wide boys just beg so many questions and pose so many problems. Some brilliant individual play from both of them, um, and the front end of the team certainly did its job. Of course, the back end of the team, with the exception of the goal we conceded, um, also did a very solid job as well. Um, defenders don't get their recognition, um, goalkeepers don't get their recognition, um, you know, in a, in a strong away performance. But you know, you have to attack and defend as a team, and I think the attacking play was well supported from behind. We had so much uh, possession high up the pitch that the attacking players were given those opportunities to go and attack their players one-on-one. Numerous times this season we talked about the team wanting to go and get that next goal and in the second half they did just that. Yeah, we, we've, got to, we've got to make sure that we keep with us on a, on a perpetual basis the next goal mentality. Um, you know, we go into games to try and get the early one and once we get the early one we've got to go and get the next one. Um, you never know in football, any, any team can nick a goal. We saw that against Trapman the other week where... You know, we got the goal and we almost like settled for the win. And they weren't really looking, but they came back. weren't looking likely, but they came back. And, uh, you know, we've got to make sure that we learn a lesson from that. And I think today we shall we did. Four goal scorers once again, you can go on the score sheet again, just on the score sheet again. That's a, it's a good sign when different players keep scoring. Well, it makes you a difficult side to contend with, doesn't it? You've got, um, if you're reliant upon an individual player, um, an individual goal scorer, um, it makes you much easier to play against. If you're, if you're spreading the goals around and scoring from all over the pitch, it's tough to contend with. I must ask about Jeffrey. He was carrying up on a stretch at the end. How is he in this? Well, he's limping, um, but he is walking. So um, I take heart from the fact he's walking. He's a young lad. He doesn't really know his body in detail. He's not taking you know, too many knocks in first-team football. So um, he's, he's, he's walking in the, in the showers. I'll take that as a positive. You mentioned you supported the like 550 of them travelling down today. And then, and then it's about an enjoyable afternoon too. Yeah, it was a, a good club performance, wasn't it? Um, you know, the numbers on the terraces were great, the noise levels were great. Um, you can tell that we're a big football club when you come this far and you've got that level of following. Um, they're terrific, their passion shines through. I think the players gave them something back today as well. Despite a, a good performance today, you've got a week within this week. Could be a, could be a long week on the training ground. Well, we've got to knuckle down, I, I said in there, every player can look at his performance today and think about you know, individual technical things that he can work on. I think physically um, we're looking stronger. The team spirit is building. Um, but technically every individual can think about something and uh, go and go to work this week on, on making sure that the performance next weekend can be better. Um, yeah, we're looking for a level where we win at 80% and where we crush sides at 100%. And uh, we have to keep building that level. And building that level is about working very, very hard uh, to make sure that we, uh, we can improve on a week-by-week week and a game-by-game basis. Thank you.